I'm Joel, and if you're new here, back in 2023, I bought a narrowboat, named it Lydia, and started renovating it into my very first home. Yeah, well, I'm kidding, but it's great. It's not exactly surgical. The problem with these trousers is they have too many pockets. When I had to get a new job, I embarked on an incredible voyage traveling 90 miles north of the Trenton Mersey Canal to Cheshire. Everybody cross your fingers. <laughs> After I got there and settled into my new home, it was time to pick up the renovations where we left them off. It is once again DIY time. I've got the power. Welcome back to the Voyage of Lydia. So I've just been up to the block for a lovely shower. It's been very nice. I've been doing that for the last couple of weeks considering my shower and my bathroom is sort of out of action at the minute because of that leak. I don't want to let too much water run through and get any worse. But I've got more renovations going on today. And as uh, something I'm not quite used to for the last couple of weeks, I've got some help. So, drum roll please. Where is he? He's not there. He's about somewhere. Ooh. Ah, there he is. What are you up to? Oh, he's got the aquavac. Doing some hoovering. Doing some hoovering. So yeah, the plan today is to get some more painting done. Um, painting the outside of the bathroom walls, under the dinette, possibly doing a bit with this wall down here as well, if we have time, and we've got some plans for the roof as well, so um, I will take you over to my car in just a moment and show you what those plans are. So there's a pallet, we're going to build a deck for the roof. We're going to put either in the winter it's going to be coal bags and then in the summer it's going to be a nice place to sit one-handed pallet pulling should be a sport ah. Bollocks. okay so the plan is for the pallet we're going to deconstruct it i'll say we dad's going to do it you warm? No, but I'm gonna get warm. Somebody play so the you know the the stripper routine music. Da 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 da. As far as it goes. <laughs> you don't want to see my. <laughs> we don't want to see that. No, we white don't. Will like buggy. We don't want to see that. But yeah, that while Dad's taking that to bits, I'm gonna go to B and Q and get some wood treatment, um, paint or varnish or whatever it is and uh, come back and hopefully he'll have it in bits by the time we get back. You can probably still hear Dad hammering in the background. One of the other things we've noticed now that we've rested the pallet on the roof is that we're probably going to need a second one to fill the space and because there's the gaps in between them are quite big we're going to need we're going to need a second pallet basically to make it properly. So there's a big old stack of them here I'm going to see if I can get one that's relatively dry and where the slats are kind of the same the same size hmm right he's working away oh he spotted me right so I've found a pallet I mean I'm a little bit precarious but I found this one here that I think the slats are about the same sort of thickness and the same width so it's just a matter of getting it off now right I know the sun's right behind me I've decided to go for the pallet underneath this one because the boards are slightly less rotten and wet so they'll still have to do they'll still have to dry out so I might not get it done today but we can make a start at any rate. Peril! Peril! 
peril, very peril. Ooh. Right, I'm going to see if, see if I can time this. Oh. Did it. Pallet secured. How goes the demolition? It is. I had to really fight to get it. Oh. I don't know, it's off. Proper lessons and all. Some of it, some of them are a bit damp. So while my dad is cutting that pallet and smashing it to bits, I'm off to B&Q to get some bits and pieces that we need to put it all together. Namely some uh, outdoor wood treatment paint uh, to make sure it doesn't go all rotten and horrible. Speed bump. Ah. Uh, yeah, some outdoor wood treatment paint to make sure it doesn't go all nasty and horrible when it rains and some screws to put it all together with and also some screws some like tiny 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 screws um because when we were trying to put together the cupboard unit on the inside of the doorway uh yesterday we went out to B&Q got some screws and then found out that those screws were too big because they were 12 mil screws and the board is also 12 mil, so they were they were too big. So I need to get some smaller ones. Bit of a cock up on my part, but you know, it wouldn't be entertaining if there weren't cock ups from now and then. So yeah, I'm off to B&Q to get some bits and pieces. Dad's smashing that pallet to bits. Another day in the life, another day. Yay! literally a pick and mix but for screws it's like a big kid thing right i've got my paint outdoor sealant now it's just time to check out well i'm back now it's been hard work while i've been away so he's been working away <coughs> do i do do i dare say it what's that Working hard or hardly working? You know it. <laughs> what's, the what's the plan for the deck, Dad? The plan is to, to build it onto these with a slight overhang, which I will then remove with the uh, jigsaw. And then once it's all fixed in place, I'll sand it all down in one go, rather than doing each individual piece. Because I don't need to do the underside if nobody's going to see the underside. So we're going to go and have a uh, coffee and a sandwich. At Yon Cafe. Up yonder. And then we're going to come back in there. Crack, crack on. on. You're doing bookcase. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do the bookcase I'm that we failed to do this. yesterday because I've got the right screws now. Yes. Fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Yeah, that's come what we didn't do. Right, bacon sandwich time. <laughs> You have made, in my opinion, a bit bigger there. What, because I haven't put the milk in first? Anyway, you don't get cyclists on the canal. No, you don't, you get anglers. Right, the bearded man is outside doing his thing. And I'm going to crack on and see if I can finish this bloody bookcase because this is the corner and I've said this a few times I think it's the corner that's been bugging me for so long 
So I'm going to see if I can get it done today because I've got the right screws. I've got the um, I've got the brackets. I've got these. I've got the dad's phone going off. I've got the brackets. I've got the right screws. Everybody, cross your fingers because this needs to get done. Otherwise, I'm going to lose my mind. So first things first. This is the grate that's going to go on there and cover up that space. And that is the mangled hole that this, this cable's gonna run through. I haven't quite got the tools I need to cut a proper gap in it. So that's gonna have to do for now. Because he's got the drill, I'm doing things the old fashioned way. It's not really fair, I think. So my little cock up last time was obviously, you can see I've got one of the brackets attached on here. However, when I turn it round, you can see that the ed end of the screw that is holding it in on that side is poking out. Hence why I was quite cross with myself um, and have been out today and bought some even smaller screws to put this together, so. Let's try again. I've tried to come a bit further away, but there's no escaping the noise of a sounding dad. I don't know why B&Q do this, but you see that sticker on the back there, and on the front there, that covers up two of the holes I need to use to screw it into the wall. Why they do that, I don't know. Why they put stickers on it that you have to take off, that they make it really difficult to take off because they just come off in tiny little pieces. Who needs a drill when you've got a screwdriver and biceps the size of string beans? Status update from John the Builder. As opposed to Bob the Builder. As opposed to Bob the Builder. That's coming together, that is. When you have the power. Yeah, that needs a drill. You'd have been on forever with a screwdriver. Oh, yeah, my hand would have been broken by yeah. it. Would you like to explain to the ladies and gentlemen how you have accomplished this feat? <clears throat> Years of incompetence have led me to this point. <laughs> Getting it wrong many times in the past. You can say you learn from your mistakes. And trust me, I've made plenty of those. Philosophical life lessons with John the Builder. Yeah.
If I'd had to do this by hand, it wouldn't have got done. Oh, you'd have been on forever. There you are. Wow. Oh. It's all coming together. That's a man who's worked very hard for his orange juice. There's dangerous things going on at the minute here. Sorry, I'm on the train for a <laughs> But I mean, look at it. It fits. You're getting it all wet again. Oh, shop, so yeah, it, it it fits. Like in in the words of Dad, it's a bit rough and ready, but it's a nice place to sit in the summer. Put a chair on it and a table, and then. In the winter, I'll put my coal bags on it, won't I? Steady. I've been summoned by his lordship. Oh, there he is. I'm sitting upon my throne. Are you now? Give us a give give us a give us a royal wave. <laughs> Which might or might not turn into that. Yeah, funny. Funny that. Next time on the Voyage of Lydia. A very unique boat arrives at the marina. It's a copy of a, a traditional working boat called Roach, which still delivers coal now. And the owners kindly invite you and I to take a look around. Our engine, it's a the Gardner 3LW. Thank you so much for watching, folks. See you next time.